from the News Channel 8 studios, let's talk live with your hosts, Natasha Barrett and Doug McElway. And welcome to Let's Talk Live. Got a good show for you today. Find out how holding back from your dentist could be hurting your overall health. But this is something that people really neglect. It's important information for you. We're also going to tell you today where you can find some really fancy footwork tomorrow night. And this, this involves senior citizens. Yeah, people there's a 92-year-old woman yeah. that's hitting the dance floor. Yeah, she's going to put us all to shame. Even older than me. <laughs> Plus, Arch is back with his picks and pans for this weekend's box office. But to start it all off, you've seen the picture. Have you seen the picture? Do you know what I'm talking about? Are you putting enough thought into your dental checkups? Oh, I think so. Have you had a recent one? No. This oh, is, this is, this busted is a subject. and a dentist is on set right yeah, now. Yeah. You might be holding back some important information from your dentist, which dentists say could hurt you. Dr. Claudia Kotka from the Washington Institute for Dentistry and Toxicology is here with why you need to be really open with your dentist. You know, doctor, you would think we fill out the forms when we go in initially with a new dentist. They should know everything. What stuff do we need to tell the dentist that's not on the health form. Okay. Well, here's a question that actually might help, help save your life. Mm -hmm. um, have you found anything suspicious, you know, in my oral health screening today? 25% um, actually of oral cancer ca base, uh, cases mm -hmm. um, are um, not associated in the high risk category that are along with, for instance, cigar smoking or cigarette smoking mm. and so on and so forth. And they're looking into HPV links or other viral contributions, um, you know, to, uh, that are actually part of your systemic um, composition. Um, also, majority of oral cancers are actually discovered in late stages, so early prevention and early detection is key. It's so, Everybody. go ahead, it's so yeah. interesting, I was going to say, just what you can find out about your body through your gums and your teeth. Exactly. There is an oral manifestation of your systemic condition, but at the same time, the systemic conditions actually affect how oral treatments um, and how you respond to those particular oral treatments. Um, people don't realize that your mouth, we've talked about this on this program mm -hmm. before, is a tremendously vascular area, a lot of veins, and it has uh, you know close proximity to your brain, to your heart, to the vital organs that you need, and so symptoms of, of serious diseases often show up in the mouth? Is that yes, correct? Yes, that is correct. We see a lot of um, viral um, um, conditions expressed. Specifically, we obviously are very well aware of H HIV, um, a lot of other infectious diseases such as hepatic uh, diseases, but also, for instance, the new link for HPV, which is a very, very important uh, element. Are, are there symptoms of HPV that actually show up in your mouth? Actually, you might see some HPV lesions in the oral cavity, absolutely. And what kind of lesions are there? How, it, yeah. how would you be able to tell that from, say, uh, a canker sore? Well, it, it, it's sort of, you know, the words are actually, you know, um, um, they present with tentacles and you know little um, algae-like formations. <laughs> so when you see that, is it uh, you you know for sure it could be that or something in relation to that, or is it a pretty much telltale sign? Well, you know, it, you know, it's a case by case basis. You know, you have to look at the patient's uh, history, mm -hmm. but at the same time, we excise that and send her off to pathology. Mm -hmm. um, what are the kind of sores in your mouth that you that should raise red flags in your mind that you should go to the dentist and have checked out? Well, any type of sores that will be there or have been there for more than a week or so. And any type of recurrent source in the exact same spot uh -huh. might also raise a question for you. Any type of source that change color or change form. Um, also might, uh, you know, you, you might have that checked out. That's appropriate for you to do that. Mm -hmm. Now I've heard there's different procedures that you can do and that I guess different dentists are doing if they're more technologically advanced right now that could help you, like laser procedures. Talk to us about that. Well, laser procedures, you know, are, are the new and upcomings. Um, you know, a lot of the excisions, meaning the cutting of these, uh, or the biopsies are done now by lasers. And where, for instance, in more advanced cases, you know, you might have a lesion that's spread out throughout the, the mouth. A laser might actually help you um, alleviate that and eradicate that without having to do actually the excision. But not all dentists have this, right? Because it, it, it would sound, it seems that it would be more expensive. 
Well, it is expensive, and the lasers are expensive. And you know, like, along with the focus of training and uh, the interest of that particular practice, you know, you might actually gain specifics. But a lot of specialists actually are doing this, especially individuals uh, that specialize in oral medicine, for instance, might have these type of um, of access to to lasers. I've read that even something as simple as plaque on your teeth can be an indicator of, of uh, heart problems. Heart well, disease? Is that true? Well, you know, again, it's a case-by-case -case basis. You know, uh, plaque actually uh, is form uh, serves as a wonderful source of identifying where um, our bacteria are coming from and how you're uh, metabolizing your diet. And depending on how well you do with cleaning after you've had something to eat, not really waiting mm -hmm. until the end of the day, but rather, you know, within the 30 minutes after you've had, uh, you know, your lunch or mm -hmm. dinner, you know, the processes start to kick in. So you really should be removing and trying to remove uh, that type of, uh, or at least um, um, prevent the type of deposition, you know, of, or deposit, you know, yeah. right then. What, uh, what, what are the mouthwashes that, that are really good out there? I've read that some, mm -hmm. like I use a, what's, what's that stuff that's really strong? Listerine. Listerine, Listerine yeah. yeah. But I've heard that that kills that. bad bacteria mm -hmm. as well as good bacteria that you need. Is that true? Well, in, you know, at the Washington Institute for Dentistry and Toxicology, we tend to focus on things that are a little more gentler. Um, I don't necessarily prescribe um, rinses with alcohol because it, they do tend to be shock-like. Yeah, it's hard to keep in your mouth. How long can you keep that in your seconds. mouth? Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> some people do it for 30. I die in between them. Like, ah! Yeah. Right. So, yeah. so you know, practical measure would be something like, for instance, fluoride-based. You know, okay. um, you know, focus on something like ACT that doesn't have alcohol in the active or inactive ingredients. Are there certain ages that shouldn't have a, a higher concentration on fluoride, like kids? Well, certainly you want to make sure that they're not getting uh, more than uh, the dosage that's recommended. So you don't necessarily, uh, you have to watch out to make sure that you don't have them ingest uh, the product. Yeah. Um, so basically, yeah. do as your mom told you. <laughs> Everything you thought she was making up, you actually need to do. Well, one mother would be very mad because I haven't been to the dentist in a long, long time. Wow. Oh, wow. Gonna, before you leave here, I'm going to make an yeah, appointment. Yeah, book an appointment. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, thanks for coming with in with pleasure. us. With pleasure. Good to see you. Thank you. Coming up next, from the rumba to the waltz, we're going to find out why these seniors are dancing the night away. Plus gadgets, gizmos, and guinea pigs? G-Force has it all. But is it worth taking the kids? Arch is going to have the answer. And we hope you can become a fan of the show. Go right to Facebook. Let us know what you think. Or go to our website. Our website right there, letstalklive.tv. We'll be right back.